Hey guys, Taryn and Janae here with our very first episode of Tea Time where we discuss with you our favorite products right now. And speaking of tea time, today's featured beverage is from Elegant Bean Coffee Shop in Cottonwood, California. Today we got um, pumpkin chai lattes. Mm -hmm. They are amazing. It's like pumpkin so pie good. in a cup. It's so amazing. It will change your life. It and will. If you're ever anywhere near there, make the effort to go in yeah. and it try is, what they've got to offer. It's, it's the so embodiment amazing. of joy. Yes. If you've ever, this is it right here. It makes you happy. It does. It's really good. So, aside from tea, one of my favorite products right now is, I'm going to show you parts of it. Okay, so this is Sensation Ale. It is a at-home gel nail kit. That sounds a little weird. So you can get it at several different places, and it's your gel, gel nails. This is my favorite color for fall winter. It's called Raspberry Wine. It's just, it's obviously the color that it sounds like. That's a great name. So my nails chip, you no, know, I can paint my nails that morning. They will chip two hours later. That's how they work. They don't. That never happens with this stuff. I can wear them for a week. I've even had somebody run a blade over them, which sounds strange and weird, but it wasn't at the time. And it didn't do anything. They are just absolutely amazing, and I am in love with that. So it's definitely something to work to look into. It is, um, I think, $50 for the starter kit. And in the starter kit, you get the LED lamp, a color, whatever color comes in that specific box. You get everything that you could possibly need to do your gel nails at home. And it's great, like I said. And how much are these individually? They are about ten bucks individually. Wow. Yeah, they usually they're like seventeen, huh? They're quite a bit cheaper, yeah. And they come in a smaller bottle than regular nail polish, but you don't have to change your nail polishes frequently because it stays on for so long. These actually give you it says about two weeks. So for a normal person I think that probably would last two weeks. My nails grow fairly quickly, so I generally keep them for just over one week. That's cool. So my Favorite thing right now is Desert Essence Organics Hand Lotion. It's fragrance free. It's fantastic. Most organic lotions that I've tried are greasy. They don't moisturize very well. They're just subpar and they're very expensive. This actually, what got me is that it's 100% vegan, wheat and gluten free, no parabens, sodium lauryl sulfates, no sodium lauryl sulfates. No phthalates, no artificial fragrances, colors, silicones, EDTA, glycol, petroleum-based ingredients. It's cruelty-free, biodegradable, no animal testing, um, no raw materials um, like petroleums and crude oil materials, um, and no phosphates. So it doesn't sound like something that would be in your lotion, but a lot of those things are made to help plastics be pliable, to make asphalt, they're just a lot of really harmful chemicals that you really don't want to be absorbed in your skin. And none of those are in here. You can, you know, layer whatever fragrance you want over it. There's no, like, weird, like, what is the that smell? smell? Yeah, it's that just weird, not even good. though it's a fragrance-free, like, sometimes those will have, like, that strange smell to them. This is fantastic. It's absolutely one of my favorites. Um, it's a must-have. And I also find that scent-free moisturizers generally moisturize better than the ones that have the scents in them. I think that, too. Plus, then you don't have to smell like eight different things, which is great. A montage. Okay, so for a skincare product, I got this from Lush. It is tea tree water. It's obviously a toner. It is truly amazing. And it has, obviously, just very simple, simple, simple ingredients. Everything that Lush does is natural, and you don't have to worry about anything that they put in there. I mean, unless you're allergic to something. But... My favorite part about this is, because you can generally make these at home if you so choose, the sprayer on this is so great. Like, it's worth it just to buy this. And Lush isn't super expensive, so it, to me it's worth it to use it anyways. But like I said, the sprayer, it's just like the finest mist. It's beautiful and amazing, and it just lays so gently on your skin, and you're just, oh, it's so good. Because there's nothing worse than when you're spraying something on your face, and it, like, shoots you in the eye, yeah. or it's, like, dripping down your face because it's not a yeah. fine enough mist. You got the one side of your face done <laughs> with that stream, and the other side's dry, and then you just wasted half the bottle trying to get your whole face. Good stuff. Always fun. So, I also like this, um, body wash. Same exact, um, Maker Desert Essence Organics. They make a fragrance free body wash, which is phenomenal. And I also love the Dr. Bronner's soap. 
Um, I know you don't like it. You have kind of an issue with an issue the feel of it. I think it's fantastic. I don't have a single problem with it. I think it moisturizes beautifully. Um, you're nice and clean. It's like a squeaky clean. It is a squeaky clean. That is what I do not love about it is I can feel the squeak on me. I don't like the squeak on me. No, it's so squeaky. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm so clean. <laughs> it feels so good. <laughs> so um, this is 100% pure Castile soap made of oils. Um, there's no animal products in it. Um, it's mainly uh, coconut oil. There's hemp oil, jojoba oil, peppermint oil, of course. They come in a vast amount, well, maybe not vast, like five or six different smells, and a unscented, too. Um, I just think they smell really clean and nice. Again, organic, can't go wrong. It's really great stuff. It, for the record, I wanted to love these. I've tried several different ones. It's not like I didn't try to, like, like she said, they're very natural, very great. It's, they're awesome. The smells are amazing. I love the smells. It's just that weird feeling after I rinse it off that it's, it's the squeak is still on me. And see, I didn't want to love it because everyone I heard about, like everyone who told me about it, were hippies. And you know, they have that hippie oh, smell. Yeah. I didn't want to smell like a hippie when I was like getting out of the shower. I don't it's like- It's not patchouli flavored. Well, no. And like, I was afraid it wasn't going to get me clean. But I was, I was very skeptical and I love it. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad. sorry you don't. I'm sorry I don't too. I truly am. Okay. So another product from Lush because I absolutely love Lush. Um, Again, all natural ingredients with all of these. This is the Lip Service Lip Balm. And I have been looking for so long to find something that I can wear on my lips at nighttime that's moisturizing, that doesn't get all of your pillowcase or anything like that, because I hate the stickiness. That It's fine to have glossy lips during the daytime. You don't need them at night. You just want something moisturizing that's going to do great things for your lips. Okay, this is it. Also, I had been mentioning this, and somebody told me to use it as a primer. It is the greatest lip primer I've ever used. It's... Oh, it's insane. I just, I can't say enough good things about this product. So, in addition to those lips, I also want to talk about these lips. This is Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Liquid Lipstick. It is in the color Brilliant Bordeaux. I'm wearing it right now. I wear it damn near every day. I think it's amazing. It's a great fall winter color also. It's very similar actually to the nail polish previously that I'm not wearing. But anyway, so this does it lasts all day long, like through eating, through tons of things. I've tried other ones where I can eat one meal with it and I've got pieces of it missing. Not just smeared off, but it's like pieces of the stuff missing. This, I, it doesn't do that. You do have to be careful about what gloss you put over the top of it because some of it will have a reaction and it doesn't wear as long as with others. With that brand, I haven't found a huge you know, difficulty finding something to go over it, but I know there are several others where you do have to worry about that. But I definitely recommend that. And, um, Janae, actually, she hates every I lipstick. I can't stand lipstick. I am not a lipstick person, but I did try that. I loved it. Um, it didn't smell weird. It didn't really feel weird. I did layer a gloss over it, and it was probably, what, like six hours or so later? It didn't feel as good as it did in the beginning. And I had to wipe it off because I'm just not a lipstick person. But it wore for a really long time for me. Usually lipstick is on for about 10 minutes and then I hate it and I wipe it off. I, I didn't mind that at all. I really liked it. So that was good. I'm winning her over, guys. One of these days she'll be a lover slowly, of lipstick. Slowly. Slowly. And then my favorite um, lip balm is actually by Badger. Um, again, organic cocoa butter lip balm. Nothing bad for you in it. Its um, main ingredient is olive oil, which I really like. Um, it's got um, olive oil, cocoa butter, uh, castor oil, spearmint, beeswax, sweet almond, sweet orange, rose hip, and seed buckhorn berry. And I use it as my night lip balm. It's not greasy. It doesn't get on your pillowcase. It's not smeary all over your face when you wake that. up. Um, it's just an overall great lip balm. You feel comfortable with it on your lips because you know there's no chemicals or bad things in it. So if you do swallow a little bit, it's not a big deal. But <laughs> in case you're eating it off, yeah, in case you're, you're eating chunks of lip balm. <laughs> and I mean, again, comes in a variety of different scents and flavors, but I just like the mint. I think it smells clean and nice. But Also, for that nice little glow, I have large pores. Also, um, combination skin, so I tend to get a little bit shiny throughout the day. If you want a decent blush, this is from Everyday Minerals. It's called Girl Friday, and it is matte. And it is hard to find a matte blush. It's a good color. 
This is like a really soft, like pinky, like dusty kind of rose color. I don't even know if you guys can see that from here, but it is amazing. It's truly nice. And like I said, it's matte, so it's not showing everything on your cheeks if you don't. And then when you want that glow, this is a really great, it's, this is actually from Hard Candy. You can get this at the drugstore. It's called Glow All The Way. And you can put this just above your cheeks so you're not showing off those imperfections if you have them like I do. Like I said, if I have large pores, I don't want to draw attention to that. So, super, super great things. Really easy. Um, everything that we talked about, we will put where you can purchase it. And if I can find the prices to all of them, I will put everything in the description box below so you can do that. So, in the episodes of Tea Time to Come, we would love to know what you guys would like to see products of. Whether it be hair products, nail products, skin, facial care, anything. Let us know in the comments down below. If you like Tea Time and like to be a part of it, click the like button. Let us know how you feel. And as always, put your best face forward. forward.